Well, well, welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this Consumer YouTube channel. Today we are going to give you David and his story. Now, David is going to tell us about his experience with a company called Zero Rates. If you had any similar experience to David, perhaps, or if you had any experience with any company, please feel free to comment on the interview and tell us about it. Enjoy the video and stay tuned for more. I contacted the company by telephone and requested uh, carpet cleaning on my residence. They gave me a price of approximately $300 to $350 to clean the carpeting. Set up a time and date. Uh, they showed up uh, a couple hours late to uh, clean the carpeting. And I think it was close to five o'clock when they showed up. And they came in and uh, started rushing around because they had two more appointments to make that day. The, uh, the, the one partner, he started doing the work. The other one uh, became more of a salesman. And he uh, proceeded to say, well, uh, this was priced wrong and the, uh, you really can't price something like this over the telephone and I'm going to have to change price and, and uh, re uh, refigure the pricing for this. So um, I said, okay, I understand. And he refigured the price. Well, then he started selling me other items like uh, he wanted to do the, the uh, blinds, and then he uh, uh, had mentioned the, the duct work. Well, we needed both done, so I said, okay. In retrospect, I should have said, look, pack your stuff up and, and leave. You know, it didn't sound right. He, he, he was a con man, and I, I fell for it, and I, um, I was fairly angry about falling, mainly for falling for this con man. So anyway, he... Uh, he did the he did the blinds, sprayed a liquid on the blinds and and uh, wiped it off. It, that probably took uh, three minutes. And then he did the uh, his partner was doing the duct work. So after they uh, they did this the duct work, I stuck my hand up there with a rag and I wiped the the duct work inside. It was filthy. So I said, well, you know this this can't this isn't working. What well, you know what's going on? Well, oh, I'm sorry, we have the wrong brush. Our brush is too small. So I says, well, okay, we'll come back out. We'll come back out a later date and take care of your ducks. They left, and they went next door to my neighbor. We, I basically called the two appointments in together. And uh, I, I, after a you know, half hour, I went over there to see how it was going. Well, they're over there cleaning my neighbor's duct work with the same brush. And these are townhouses. They're built identically alike. So the ductwork was the same size. They, uh, I said, well, what are you doing? You're, you're cleaning the, the ducts with the wrong brush over here now. And, of course, they had some excuse. And, and uh, uh, I left. I was fairly upset. So after everything was said and done, I received a bill of about 1100 bucks and I was I was upset and basically I was upset not only that I let him get away with it and that I, I paid it but basically he conned me and I you know I let it I let it happen so I contacted the owner and uh, <clears throat> I just told him look I don't want you coming back out to do the duct work so he took to $250 off for the ductwork cleaning. So tell me this, please. Um, what was the reason you decided to go with this company when you initially needed uh, the carpets in your apartment cleaned? What? They did a lot of advertising, and it was supposed to be a chemically free process for cleaning the carpets. So I just felt it was uh, for the environment a little, little safer and a little uh, better, better option. What are you most upset about in this situation? You know, the money, the boss that talk to you on the phone, the guys like, 
what takes you off the most? What's the point that makes you boil about this? Well, the fact that it was a very uh, poor job, that I, I'm typically not that gullible. And um, as I think back on this, why I let this guy continue, why I let him come in there and change the price on me, it was, I, I just, I look back on that and I think, it, that's what's so frustrating that I let him get away with it, uh, that I fell for it. But he was good. <laughs> I have to admit, he was good. You know, I could tell there was friction between the two workers that, that the other guy uh, was upset that <clears throat> he was doing all the work and the other guy was just basically doing the con. And uh, it, you could tell very easily that there was a, you know, they didn't work well together. Uh, why did you decide to go public with this story? Because obviously, you know, there are so many ways how you could have acted in this situation, but yet you went online and wrote the review. What was your motivation, David, if you please? I just, I didn't want anybody else getting stung the, the same way I did. I just uh, felt, you know, I'll get this out there and let uh, hopefully other people will review before they call a company. And I typically do that check the company and, and how they've responded in the past and what kind of work they do.